In this video, we'll be predicting the products for decomposition reactions. And we can use our cartoon chemistry to help. So here we have a couple, and it looks like they experienced some hardship. Maybe one of them spoke some unkind words. And you can see that now they've split up. So here we had one couple, and they broke apart into two different things. Now a decomposition reaction is probably the easiest type of reaction to recognize. Notice that a decomposition reaction only has one reactant. So on the left hand side of this arrow, you'll just see one thing. Most likely it will be um, a compound. So what do you think potassium carbonate might decompose into? Well, that's a tough question, but we do have a cheat sheet to help. Now, there's a variety of decomposition reactions which you'll be responsible for memorizing. Here they are. A metal hydroxide, a metal carbonate, a metal oxide, a metal chlorate, and also we'll have a situation where we use electricity to decompose a compound into its individual elements. So let's look at what we're dealing with here. We have potassium carbonate. Potassium, of course, is a metal. So what we have is a metal carbonate. So let's go down the list. Do we have a metal hydroxide? No. Oh, here it is, a metal carbonate. So according to our example, a metal carbonate when it decomposes, will decompose into a metal oxide and carbon dioxide. So we know we're going to be making a metal oxide here. What metal oxide do you think we might make? That's right, we'll be making potassium oxide, of course. So potassium oxide and carbon dioxide, those will be our products. So after you've predicted the products, the next step is to write the formulas. Write the formulas like you always would. Look up the symbol and the charge on the periodic table, and then zigzag those charges to get your subscripts. So potassium's plus one, oxide's minus two, plus carbon dioxide, which is CO2. And you'll notice that this equation is already balanced. So it's the same steps as always. Use your cheat sheet to predict the name of the products, then write the formulas, and then lastly, balance. Let's try one more. Here's calcium chlorate. Let's use our cheat sheet to help us. So here are the ones again that we'll be responsible for. So calcium is a metal. So what we have here is a metal chlorate. So let's go down the list. Is it a metal hydroxide? No. Is it a metal carbonate? No. Is it a metal oxide? No. Oh, here it is, a metal chlorate. So in our example, in our template that we're going to follow here, we can see a metal chlorate decomposes into a metal chloride and oxygen. So what metal chloride do you think this would decompose into? Of course, it's going to decompose into calcium chloride. So now we'll write the symbol and the charges, and that will help us to write the formula. Now we've predicted the products, and we've written the formula. And lastly, we'll make sure that it's balanced. Let's take a look. It looks like we have six oxygens on the left and only two oxygens on the right. So what number should we place here? Let's write a three. Now this problem is complete. So this video um, was an introduction to the decomposition reactions, and there's five of them that you'll be responsible for. So commit these to memory.